I was sleeping and then my husband woke me up and he was like, I got an email. And I'm like, but I'm not supposed to get an email. I was scared all there asking some extra documents. I don't know. And then I opened the computer. Yay! Yay! Oh, I got my PR. <laughs> I was in Brazil and I was a journalist there. And at some point in my life, I was like, if I want to grow in my career here in Brazil, I have to speak English. And then I came here to study for one year. And then I'm here for almost five years. I always communicate very well with people. It was like my strength. And then I came here and at the first months, I was very scared because it was hard to understand, hard to speak. My English was my biggest challenge here in Canada. I always tell to my friends that want to come and sometimes they're like, I'm not gonna apply for this job because my English is not good. We all have the same feelings and sometimes people don't go out of their comfort zone because they are scared. I'm not scared anymore. Sometimes people ask me about different exams. Take self-pip, it's real life. You talk every day with your boss, with your friends. I remember going to my work, it was like a 20 minute walk. So I just put my headphones and I was just listening to self-pip question samples just to try to improve my grammar, vocabulary. I hired an instructor to help me because she was experienced in Brazilian people. So she knows the common mistakes. So she helped me. So don't be scared, just prepare yourself. You're gonna be fine. After I, I took the self -pip, I got my permanent residence and I went to work the next day. Oh, I got my PR and they bought champagne and everybody was celebrating with me. So it was amazing. I'm very proud. Yay! <laughs>